Hello guys. In this video, we are going to use the theorem which states that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. Now, an exterior angle is an angle that is outside the quadrilateral. In our diagram, we have this exterior angle. The interior angle that is opposite this marked exterior angle is that one. Now, if the exterior angle is 70 degrees in size, then the opposite interior angle is also 70 degrees. This is because the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. All right, let's look at another diagram. From this diagram, we are required to find the size of the angle that is marked X and the angle that is marked Y. Angle X is an exterior angle. It is outside a cyclic quadrilateral. The theorem we are using today states that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. Now, we are given two interior angles. Of these two, the one marked 130 degrees is opposite to angle X. That means angle X must be equal to 130 degrees. The reason being the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. So X is 130 degrees. Now let's move on to angle Y. Angle Y is equal to 100 degrees. This is because the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. So X is 130 degrees and Y is 100 degrees. Thanks for watching.